and welcome to this week's News Bulletin Roundup at the International News Channel. Let's take a look at the headlines. Oklahoma governor grants clemency to Julius Jones, halting his execution. Biden administration sells oil and gas lease. International Olympic Committee issues renewed guidelines on trans athletes. Paul Gassar censored over anime video depicting him killing Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Turpin sisters recall first moments of freedom from their cruel parents. First human trials for nasal vaccine to treat and prevent Alzheimer's disease. Germany's disease control agency warns that the country could face a terrible Christmas as COVID cases soar. Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt has granted clemency to Julius Jones, commuting Jones' death sentence just hours before he was scheduled to be executed for a 1999 murder he says he did not commit. Jones' sentence will be commuted to life in prison without the possibility of parole, according to an executive order filed Thursday. Jones was scheduled to be executed at 4 p.m. Central Time. The governor came to the decision following prayerful consideration and reviewing materials presented by all sides of this case, he said in a statement on Twitter. In other news, the Biden administration stated that they were committed to slowing climate change, but days after doing so, they sold one of the largest gas and oil leases to date. Environmentalists expressed their disappointment and have sued to prevent the sale, though Biden may not have had much choice in the matter. Indeed, when he announced a temporary pause on any new oil and gas leasing on federal waters and lands, upwards of a dozen Republican states filed a lawsuit to challenge the pause. The Biden administration appealed the decision made by a federal judge in Louisiana, which sided with the states suing. Meanwhile, the International Olympic Committee announced new guidelines for transgender and intersex athletes this Tuesday. These new guidelines removed controversial policies that used to require athletes to undergo procedures and treatments to modify their hormone levels. The new framework works from 10 core principles which are based on international standards of human rights. They are legally binding and based on consultations with athletes, sports organizations, human rights experts, and more. Turning now to the U.S. House of Representatives who voted to censor Republican Representative Paul Gosar for his recent Twitter post. This post depicts Paul Kosar killing Democrat Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and attacking the president. Gosar argued that this video was not meant as a threat. However, Ocasio-Cortez refuted that violence is not acceptable in school board meetings and homes, so it should not be allowed in Congress. The censor resolution means that Gosar must stand and listen to the rebuke read aloud in the chamber. Moreover, he is no longer serving on the Natural Resources Committee. In other news, the Turpin children, 13 siblings, endured decades of abuse and captivity by their parents. On January 14, 2018, Jordan Turpin escaped from their family long enough to call 911. Resultantly, the police arrested parents David and Louise Turpin, who were convicted for charges including torture and false imprisonment. Both were sentenced to 25 years to life in 2019. Since then, Jennifer and Jordan Turpin have come forward to share their story in an interview with Diane Sawyer. Meanwhile, in Boston, a study for new Alzheimer's treatment began recruiting participants this past week. These are the first human trials on a nasal vaccine which could be used in preventing Alzheimer's disease. The vaccine will test the drug Protolin, which stimulates the body's immune system and prevents the buildup of beta amyloid protein plaques in the brain. Experts believe that these buildups make it so that the brain cells do not work properly in Alzheimer's patients' brains. Lastly, German lawmakers have recently approved measures to fight against record COVID-19 cases. The measures passed in the Bundestag with support from Social Democrats, Greens, and Free Democrats. These new measures were influenced by a recent warning by the country's disease control agency, which stressed that Christmas may be a terrible time with infection and death rates increasing across the country. The director of the institute, Lothar Wheeler, highlights that Germany is moving towards a critical emergency at this current rate of infection. That's all for today. You're watching the International News Channel. I'm Ava Blackwell. Remember to subscribe, like, and turn on the bell notifications so that you don't miss out on any of our latest content.